Hola mis queridos, como estas mi amolicia? Hello my kittens, how are you? My name is Austin, and today we are playing Nancy Drew Labyrinth of Lies Collector's Edition. Now, today is going to be a little different. I'm not going to go into detail of what the difference is between Collector's Edition and the regular game, nor am I going to talk about the fast combo feature or the hint system, even though I just brought them up right now. <laughs> today, we are simply just going to do some gaming. I do want to briefly mention that Her Interactive does base all of their video games off the Nancy Drew Books series. This particular game, Labyrinth of Lies, is based off the Greek symbol Mystery, number 60, from the main series. And when I say main series, that is the original series that started in 1930. Yes, sorry. The book series is that old. It's turning 90 next year, and I believe Her Interactive is turning 25 next year. Yeah, as far as publishing Nancy Drew games, they're turning 22. I think the only thing I want to mention, uh, well, two things. I did do some research on Greek symbol mystery number 60, and it actually turns out there are multiple copies, multiple versions, multiple bindings, which means there's at least five different cover arts for the book. Wow. I am going to try to mention the title of the book at least five times so that I can show you what those five cover arts are. They're all pretty interesting. <laughs> and the last thing I want to mention is, if anything, anything in this video does not look familiar, it is because you have not been keeping up. Please, please, please check the description box below. There's a previous video as well as the playlist. I recommend the playlist because it will have everything that I've done so far with Nancy Drew, The Labyrinth of Flies, Collector's Edition, and I think there's... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. With every Nancy Drew game you play, there's one thing that you get to do with the new game, and that is you get two options of detective levels. You get Amateur Sleuth and Master Sleuth. Amateur, you get regular puzzles, hints available, detailed task list. And Master, you get more challenging puzzles, no hints, basic task list. Now, before game number 28's Ghost of Thornton Hall, basic task list meant no task list whatsoever. On there, you would just see one thing and it would say, I'm a senior detective, I don't need a to-do list. You just mark that off and you're done for the rest of the game. You're good. However, with this new interface, which we did get in Deadly Device, number 27, I believe, but the new features of Fast Convo and the Hint System wasn't added until game number 28, the next one, <laughs> which is interesting. I guess the two features weren't ready until the next game. Which is good, because when it comes to those features, you want to make sure all the kinks are gone. All the bugs and stuff. You don't want any problems with it. <laughs> I have looked into it, and there is a basic task list. It is pure and simple. It's not as detailed as it is an amateur. There's no hint system on there. And I don't think you're able to contact your friends on your cell phone. That is if Nancy has a cell phone. For hints. That's basically what Master Sleuth is. You get no help. Well, except for the basic task list, but hey. Alright. And I do believe that is it. Let's go ahead and get into the game. I'm going to try to make this a, a quick little video just because technically this video was supposed to be up on Tuesday. But due to what happened on Sunday, which was recording my reaction video to the trailer, I had already seen the trailer Saturday night when it came out due to what I had seen in the comments section and that I had already recognized that other people had done reaction videos. I'm like, okay, if they're doing that, then it's time for me to do that. But I didn't record until Sunday morning. <laughs> it's just, it kind of caused... A little bit of chaos with what I normally do for my post-production, but it was definitely worth it. Wait, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, so I just took out a lot of audio on this part just because I realized I just went into too much talking detail about the <laughs> Midnight in Salem trailer. That audio I'm definitely going to try to add to the <laughs> trailer reaction if I can, just because it is new information. Oh, yeah. Anyway, today is pure and simple. I think what's going to happen is just the uh, temple layouts. Like I said earlier, I had hoped this video was going to go up on Tuesday, but because of what happened uh, Sunday morning as well as Sunday night, it just turns out that it would be easier if I had just uploaded Sunday's video with the reaction video on Tuesday and have this on Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little stressed out and a little freaked out. <laughs> so, bear with me here. Uh, okay. 
let me actually go through the task list, show you what I've done in the previous video, just because I always forget to do this at the beginning of the video, where I go through the task list. Yeesh. Still have to, haven't done, haven't done, can't check, still have, haven't done, still have, did that, still have to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, there's a stage lift? Oh, boy. Create your own temple. Okay. Um, we did learn a couple things. Okay, still on that page. Alright. So. The hunt. Um. Wait, who do we know is the hunt? Childbirth, fine arts and music, war and violence, wilderness, uh, with her bow and arrow in hand, goddess of the hunt, Artemis, okay. And she was normally with a stag. Or a hound. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and set that up then. Oh. There's no animal with her, but that's bird. I think that's it. Alright, Lofty. It did say... Wait, what did it say? The Wilderness? Yeah. But it does say lofty, so it would, wouldn't it be this? All right, panoramic, panoramic band. I think that's this here. Animals above the cornice. Okay, so that would be the pediment, right? Yeah. Volute ornament ornamentation. Okay, so what is volute? This symbol here. Okay. All right. And double hall. Yeah. All right, temple two. Next temple. Four to end. Would that be the floor plan? Four to end. Oh, four to end. Got it. Okay. Square abacus. Um, and it's that thing right, whoops, right, right there. Yep. Um, abstract gable. What the frick is a gable? What the frick is a gable? Okay, musical dedication. Right there. That's a liar. Uh, metopes. Metopes. Okay, so that's a double then? No. What's metopes? Oh, that. Um, so that's metopes. Right? Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Okay. Bustling Agora, so that would be city. And... Abstract Gable. I guess, would that be the pediment? Booyah!
dude. Guys, I'm not even cheating. This is awesome. Building temples is easy when Nancy Stonemason Drew is on the case. All right, Nancy, calm down. <laughs> acanthus, acanthus tree uh, leaves. Where are the acanthus leaves? Oh, that thing right there. Got it. Yep. Twice as many columns on sides as on ends. I know that one. Uh, sculptured mortals on all levels. Water view for wisdom. And who is wisdom? Athena. And she had... Um... The owl. Got it. But what about sculpture sculptured mortals on all ends? Okay. Okay, those are mortals. Got it. Um, twice as many columns on the sides as on the ends. Oh, I'm dumb. There we go. Booyah! Alright, we got that. I think next up we're going to try this, but we need something from Niobe, if I remember correctly. Let's talk to her. Thank you for unlocking the display for me. Why are you so interested in them? The tooling marks tell a story about how they're made. For the most part, we still don't understand the full method. Bits and pieces, but that's it. I'd love to see if I can see something, anything to add to that discussion. I'll let you go. Hmm. Until later. All right, maybe I was wrong. Oh, hey. This is the exact book I needed. Oh, thanks, guys. Booyah. All right. We can do those vases now. Or at least in the next video. Yeah, I'm actually going to cut it short. Like I said, I was just going to do the temple the design, the layouts. So... I think I'm actually going to do a new save. Let's save it under... Can I do underscore? Yes. Wink. And we're... Whoops. Um, main menu. Save again, just to be safe. Alrighty. So, did you actually see those yellow arrows? I didn't actually know, like, when during the conversation to use it, so I didn't. But basically those yellow arrows is part of the fast combo feature. Basically if you click on that, either Nancy or someone she's talking to is talking, it skips the dialogue. Basically you use that if you are trying to do a speed run or if you just want to do the gaming portion in instead of following the story, which is fine. There are times when you just want to zoom through, do the gaming, do the puzzles instead. Of paying attention to the story. I, I get in that mood sometimes. In fact, sometimes I just play Secret of the Old Clock just so I can play the mini golf. I love the mini golf. It's so much fun. I actually just recently found out that my local mall brought back laser tag. I am so excited because honestly, our mall actually used to have uh, both a theater, laser tag, and I think if I am correct, a bowling alley? I could be wrong. Oh, and a mini golf course. Mini golf course. It wasn't bowling, it was mini golf. Oh my freaking gosh. In fact, I don't know if it's still there, but the past year or two, there was a business company that had a glow in the dark mini golf in the mall. Oh my gosh. I actually got to go in there once, and that was a whole bunch of fun. I kind of want to go back in there. That is if the business is still there. Okay, so I do kind of want to go over the book that Labyrinth of Lies is based off of, which is The Greek Simple Mystery, number 60 of the main series. 
I think the only thing I'm going to say is that it is about Nancy going to Greece to help out a neighbor and or friend, basically the same person. Mrs. Thompson's cousin disappeared, as well as the cousin's inheritance. And so Nancy basically goes to Greece to help find him and figure out what happened. And in the process, someone places a stolen mask from a museum in her shopping bag. From there, the Greece police, the Greek police, arrest Nancy and assume that she was the thief. They do ask her questions. They do try to get to the bottom of it. Still, in the end, they assume that she was the thief. She is the culprit. She is part of some sort of gang. And meanwhile, she's like, I'm not this. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a detective. Even her friends, Bess and George, try to help defend her, but it just made it worse. Dug a hole for her. It didn't help at all. With that, though, it definitely helped her figure out what was going on with that mask, where it came from, and why the police was making a huge deal of it. And that's basically what happens from there. I'm not going to go into details because <laughs> it's a freaking mess, but it's a really good book. I highly suggest you check it out. And guess what? There is a way to check it out for free. I'm going to say it right here and now, just so that you're not confused. I am not sponsored. I actually haven't even talked to them about this yet, even though I've been talking about them nonstop for the past month or two. There is a website basically called Internet Archives, and they have a bunch of different databases for people to look into for their own research and stuff like that. There is a part called Open Library, a website, openlibrary.org, that is connected to Internet Archives. That is basically a huge library that you can look up books. I love it. And it actually kind of reminds me of, I think it's called Goodreads, because I haven't been to that website in years. <laughs> but I know that I remember the layout of it. So what you can do on Open Library is that you can check out, you or not check out, you can borrow books, five books maximum. You can put them on loan. You can hold on to them for at least two weeks, 14 days. That is so sweet and it's so beautiful. It's actually enough time for you to check out a Nancy Drew book play the game alongside it, and figure out the differences if you want. Or just read the book on your own time, just as long as it's within the two weeks. But the thing is, if you want to get a sixth book, you do have to return one of those five in order to get the, that sixth book. You can only have five books at a time. The only kicker is that you need to create an account. Like I said, it's free. I love this website. There are a bunch of Nancy Drew books. I've been using this website to help me be up to date with the books so that I can give you all updates, the differences between the games and the books. It's amazing. And I've been talking way too much. I gotta get going so that I can make sure this video is short enough for you all. It's definitely gonna be less than 25 minutes, I can tell you that. Anyway, I love you all so, so, so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers. I hope I helped you out at least a little bit. If not, I'm not doing my job. And I will talk to you all in the next video, which will be Nancy Drew, Lap of the Flies, Part 8. Heck freaking yeah. And on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel, go ahead and click, click, click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray, as well as that bell icon right next to it. That will notify you of all the videos that I do, which are on Tuesdays and Thursdays, as well as Sundays and even Wednesdays, which are late videos and vlogs, which rarely happen. And I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally Rabbit saying goodbye. Stay awesome and stay on YouTube! I really am disappointed with those people that I saw on Facebook. I mean, I didn't read all of the comments, but man, they are so quick to judge. They haven't even played the game and they're judging. Some of them even got refunds. I'm pissed.